Saudi Arabia has just handed Canada a beautiful opportunity, a, a gift if you want. It, it didn't like what we said in a tweet and decided to throw a, a, a tad of a tantrum, a, a little bit like a toddler. And uh, it was just announced about two hours ago that on top of recalling the ambassador, they are also now recalling all of the students and they are canceling all flights to Canada as of August 13th. So Canada now has an opportunity to behave like a real world leader, like a super state, like we could behave like the US right now with an alpha male, Trudeau, who's been you know, kind of going around being some kind of a male feminist is now, has now in his hands the opportunity to act like an alpha male. Canada has the opportunity to act like a world superpower. We're told we have to wait and see. Terrible policy. But it seems to me Justin Trudeau is a little confused on his job description. He's been going around uh, giving more importance to things like a pride parade and talking about LGBT uh, problems than actual world problems, Canadian problems that really matter. So here's what, uh, what we should do. We just need to get Justin Trudeau back on track, realize what his real job description is, which is to handle the situation. And just in case he needs a little nudge nudge, you know, where do I go from here kind of thing, I've put together uh, the next step he should do. Very simple. First of all, any mosque in Canada that has even a penny of Saudi funding in it needs to be shut down right now. This is an opportunity to go after that little extremist problem we, start, we seem to have in Canada. It's called mental illness, but it's really Islam extremism. And the Saudis are known to fund mosques in foreign countries, specifically for the radicalization of Muslim youth. So there we go, shut down all the mosques. If there is an, a penny of Saudi money that has touched the mosque at any point in history, at any time, shut it down. That's the first step. The next step, also pretty simple, expel the Saudis that are here, or at least give them the chance. Say, you know what, we're gonna pay for you to return home. If however you stay in Canada, we're gonna request that your allegiance is to Canada. If you at any point show allegiance to Saudi Arabia, you're on the next flight out of here, back to Saudi Arabia. Pretty simple still. The next thing that we should do is shut down all the Muslim student associations in Canada. Now in the universities are the Muslim student associations and those guys uh, are on campus in Canadian colleges and universities and they are proselytizing which means trying to convert people to Islam, trying to make Islam appear peaceful, uh, kind of pulling the wool over our eyes to try to um, at least lull us into some kind of a slumber so that we sleep through it while other you know parts of the Muslim Brotherhood are imposing more and more Sharia in Canada. So this, Saudi Arabia has just given us the opportunity to retaliate severely by removing all MSA, Muslim Student Associations, in Canadian University. So that should be the step they, they should do. Now, you know, we seem to have a bit of an illegal problem in Canada with the illegal migrants coming and we, we, can't, we don't know where to put them. So I, I had an idea and I think this would work. Uh, kick out everybody from the Saudi Embassy in Canada and put all the illegal migrants there. There you go, problem solved. No need for hotels, no need for anything. Kick the Saudis out, put the immigrants there, and there you have it. So see, I, I am a bit of a problem solver, and hopefully this helps because Canadian government has not shown great force in anything. I sure as heck hope they'll, they'll show some force here. I hope Trudeau, by some kind of a miracle, will become an alpha male in this case and, and act like a real world leader. So there you have it guys, let me know what you think and uh, I'll see you in the next one.